All right, thank you, Dylan. It's the trial that has the nation's attention for disbarred attorney Alec Murdoch, who is charged with murdering his wife and son. We go into week two of the trial tomorrow. Alyssa Jackson has been following the case, and we know last week had some big moments, graphic statements, witness testimony, and an interview with Murdoch we saw for the very first time. Alyssa, what new details are we learning over the past week? Well, Haley, you know, a lot did come out last week during the first week of the trial. We saw the first interview Alec Murdoch had with investigators that was just hours after his wife and son were killed. Murdoch is charged with two counts of murder and two weapons charges in the fatal shootings of Maddie Murdoch, his wife, and Paul Murdoch, his son. It all happened at the family's hunting property in Colleton County almost two years ago. The prosecution and defense in Alec Murdoch's case agreed on one thing the night of the murders, the gruesome, chilling crime scene. Maggie Murdoch's wife and Paul, his son, laying in a pool of their own blood. And for the first time, we saw the interview Murdoch gave investigators just hours after it all happened. And I ran over to Maggie and uh, actually, I think I tried to turn Paul over first. Um, uh, you know, I tried to turn him over. Collison County Sheriff's Office investigator Laura Rutland and South Carolina Law Enforcement Division agent David Owen questioned him inside of a vehicle on the crime scene due to weather. Murdoch described his marriage as, quote, wonderful. In yours and Paul's relationship? As good as it could be. The defense made attempts to discredit the preservation of evidence on scene. Deputies not wearing protective foot coverings and citing there isn't enough evidence to prove Murdoch is guilty. There's no forensics tying him to the murder. When I say forensics, fingerprints, blood, whatever, tying him to shooting anybody that night. The cell phone records would indicate he would have had less than 10 minutes to kill him, get up to the house, get in the car and crank it up. He'd be covered in blood. Among the prosecution's main arguments that we can expect to go into next week, inconsistencies in Alec Murdoch's timeline of that night and whether he cleaned himself up after his wife and son were killed. Did you see what appeared to be blood on Alex Murdoch's hands? I did not. On his arm? No. On his shirt? None. On his shorts? No. On his shoes? I did not. Rutland confirming when questioned by the prosecution that Murdoch's clothes looked fresh out the laundry because she noticed him sweating when his clothes were dry. Murdoch's defense attorney doubled down on his innocence to the jury, saying the defendant had a healthy relationship with his wife and son. That's his other son, Buster, you're seeing. In a Snapchat video that has not been made public yet, Harputlian alludes to Murdoch bonding with Paul the same day he was killed, saying there was no way he could have executed his family. Not believable. Not believable. A big piece of evidence we heard was from SLED agent Melinda Worley. Nearly a dozen swabs were taken from Murdoch's black suburban. They tested presumptive for blood, meaning there was likely a presence of blood. The defense did not get a chance to cross-examine her Friday. Someone else we're hoping to hear from is Alec Murdoch's son, Buster, who has been there during the trial. Thank you, Alyssa, and we are streaming the trial live on all of our platforms. Look for it on WTOC Plus, the WTOC app, and WTOC.com. The trial picks back up tomorrow morning at 930.